まあ、先制攻撃の定義についての話があったと思うんですけれども、やはり日本,の日本国憲法との関係で考えると非常にまあセンシティブな問題だと思いますので、河野先生、ご自身の定義を教えてください。A lot of people use preemptive strike, meaning、uh, some kind of deterrence capability.、Um, you need to be careful when you say preemptive if it's within the international、uh, legal framework、uh, or not. And、uh, how are you going to、uh, define? Uh, deterrence capability and all those things. And I, I've been hearing,、uh, say, Tekikichi Kogeki n o r u k or Hangeki n o r u k or Dageki Ryuk or whatever.、Um, I'm not quite sure when they say Tekikichi Kogeki n o r u k what it actually means. It, it, does, it, does it include a preemptive strike?、Uh, preemptive. Uh, what about the preemptiveness vis a vis international law?、Uh, so I'm not、uh, saying anything un un unless people actually start defining those terms before discussion and、uh, people sort of agree when they say one word or the other word what they mean. Because it's quite confusing. And、uh, we, I think the, one of the role, important r o l e of Ministry of Defense is to provide、uh, information to the general public about、uh, missile defense or integrated air missile defense、uh, of Japan and what are the threats that we are looking at. What are the options、uh, we can take、uh, and the pros and cons of each option? s So, I would like to be very clear and precise about、uh, words and terms、uh, before we actually start discussion. So,、um, I'm sorry I'm not answering you directly today, but、uh, I think. We need to define the terms、uh, to the general public, and I don't want to misuse those terms. And、uh, when we start alternative or uh, supplement to the Aegis Ashore, we need to do the precise discussion with precise definition of the terms. What, what about the,、uh, the ability to attack? The enemy's base when,、um, say, missile、uh, the fuel injection uh, starts uh, with a missile. It,、uh, that's, I think, I think the very ordinary、uh, sort of a definition of a preemptive, you know, preemptively means. So、uh, you think it's within the frame, frame of the Japanese constitution to have that ability? Well, you really have to be precise about what you actually see. and When something's happening, what are the intention、uh, of the enemy or adversary? So you cannot, general, you cannot start discussion with just generalizing the situation. You have to be very precise about each word. Otherwise, people can cherry pick. Uh, what you've been saying, and then it's going to be not just a constructive discussion, but、uh, it's just、uh, cherry picking what you say or what you didn't say or what you mean or what you don't mean. So I don't, I don't think that's the healthy discussion. So we need to start out with defining the term and what we are, what we are trying to do. So I don't, I don't think it's healthy to、uh, start about certain t e r m or certain vocabulary. I think we need to start out with a security environment and what needs to be done and what are the options. And that's how you、uh, make constructive discussion about uh, uh, missile defense. Uh, if you start talking about、uh, what about this word, what do you mean this word, and 
it, it doesn't lead you anywhere, and I don't want to get involved in this. Thank you.